everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube video. We've got a total mess going on in the house at the moment because I'm just filming. Mondays are filming days, but it's Monday the 9th of March and we are just um, about to have some lunch and I thought I would film for a change a what I eat in a week and it's going to be a healthy version because we're trying to be good because we're going to Barcelona in a few weeks so we thought get on the health wagon. It's gonna be a healthy what I wore, not what I wore in a week, what I eat in a week. And yeah, I think, you know, don't follow my advice or rules for anything. This is just what we eat, some recipes. I know people often ask for recipes when I share them. So I thought it would be good to include that. So Tim usually cooks for us, excuse the absolute mess in the background. Tim normally cooks for us. So um, he is doing so today and I'll show you what we're having so far. Okay, so this is for lunch. We're gonna have eggs with this as well. Um, we've got cucumber, tomato, some tuna, uh, walnuts, and then we've put a bit of this hoisin sauce on which we're absolutely addicted to. Have it with absolutely everything. It goes really well with cucumbers, Tim says. And yeah, we're gonna have some I think two boiled eggs with it. Are you having toast with yours? Just one slice. You're having one slice of toast. I'm not going to have any toast with mine. Um, but yeah, I think all these things are quite filling, but very healthy. So I'll show you when we've got the eggs on. Here's the resistance. Just a really nice, quick and easy, healthy lunch that's probably going to be quite filling as well. So it's now even time. Um, it's about mm, just gone five, I think. We're just wrapping up for the day. I'm finishing off some bits and bobs of work to do. And Timothy is making our chicken salad. So, ooh. So, he is cooking up some chicken, putting some spices on it. Pass me that. This is from America. <laughs> it is... Good chip. Yeah, apparently. Um... Big Cock Ranch. Interesting. Big Cock Ranch. Um, but it's like all different, it's like a sweet flavour, isn't it? So we're gonna cook that with um, some chicken, adding a bit of prosciutto. You would like to make a salad for the company. Then we've got some tomatoes, some watercress. Are we adding both these lettuces? Basil, are we putting the mozzarella in as well? and peppers so yeah it should be a nice salad i shall make the salad for you um where can i pop the camera uh, the I'm gonna do the really important job of lighting the candle now. I'm using this one, which was actually in my subscription box this month, and I'm gonna see how it smells. It smells really good, like without even being lit. So I'm gonna give this a whirl. Always like to light a candle in the evening, especially when we're eating. Just pop it on the coffee table. How cute. Adorable. So finishing touch is just a bit of basil on top. And this is the pièce de résistance. 
So just a chicken salad. I'm gonna put a bit of drizzle of oil on it. Just a plain chicken salad, but jazzed up with some mozzarella, chicken, pros prosciutto. Delish. Good morning. Welcome back. It is um, now the next day, so it's Tuesday. I had to think about that then. I feel like in this vlog, it's gonna be very much me in my comfy clothes because I'm at home and I'm eating. So it's always gonna be comfy clothes. Um, I've got this suit on from Lay, Lay Boys and Lay Girls. Or is it Lay Boys and Lay Girls? It's really cozy and cute and it's just nice to wear around the house. So I thought I'd share with you what I'm gonna have for breakfast. It's about 10 o'clock now and we went to the gym. Well, we got up at about half six, had a cup of tea went to the gym, had a coffee after, and now I'm just having breakfast. So it is 10 to 10. It's nothing exciting, so don't get your hopes up that I'm gonna be doing some sort of dried, frizzled granola with chopped apricots and, well, I don't know, um, because I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do, let's pop you somewhere. Where can we pop you? Pop you on here. This is what we make our coffee in, by the way. It's gonna be a bit stained now, but um, this is from John Lewis and we love it. We've, it's, um, is it ground? Yeah, ground coffee and you just pop it in. I never make it, Tim makes it. Um, and yeah, it's lovely, really nice coffee. So let's pop the lights on because it's quite dark today. It's really miserable actually. Um, so I'm just gonna have for breakfast, get myself a bowl. But I've got, we've got some frozen blueberries and I think what I'm gonna do, pop them in a little bowl and put them in the microwave. He likes frozen blueberries and porridge and just puts them in the microwave with it. Um, but I think I'm gonna put some in a little dish and have them with my yogurt. So this is them. And they were from somewhere like Lidl or something like that. So, ooh, let's pop them in. Ooh, always one. So like a little handful. And I'm gonna try and do frosting. So whilst they are defrosting, I'm gonna get some natural yogurt. This is the one I've got at the moment, um, Yeo Valley one. But I've also got a tub of Greek yogurt here because I think this might have nearly run out. So I just normally put a couple of spoonfuls in. I'm gonna try one spoonful of that as well. One's Greek and one's natural, so I'm just gonna have to mix them together because they've both got different consistencies. And I'm gonna put some banana in, sprinkle the blueberries on. Then I'm gonna complete it with a bit of honey. Give it a bit of sweetness. So, how delightfully presented, but <laughs> this is just my kind of everyday breakfast when I've been to the gym. It gives me a bit of energy and yeah, not too unhealthy and the honey just gives it a bit of sweetness. I'm gonna eat this and then I wanted to talk to you about intermittent fasting because that's what I've been doing. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this first and then I'll talk to you. So I said, oh, well, let's I'll put this chair down so we're a bit more level. So I've just had my breakfast and I said that I'd talk about intermittent fasting. So obviously this is what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely no expert and I don't really know loads about it. We've been doing it, I kind of dabbled in and out of it for ages. Um, I kind of had a spell that I'd, I did it quite a lot. But we've been doing it now hmm, for, I'd say since January really, apart from like a few times we've kind of been a bit slack. Obviously when you're out and about and busy and got hotel stays and things like that, um, it all kind of falls out of sync. But where we can, we try and do intermittent fasting. And for me, I just feel like it's, 
helped so much in terms oh i'm gonna sneeze um but yeah it's helped so much in terms of just feeling so much better about myself because it's called fasting it sounds really negative but actually i wouldn't really call it fasting i'd just say it's a break from eating during certain hours of the day which isn't really like fasting sounds like you're starving yourself but it's definitely not that so um i usually try and finish eating before six or around six um, and then I don't eat again all evening. Usually I'll just have some water and then I'll pick up, well, I won't pick up eating. <laughs> I've not dropped it somewhere, but I'll eat again. I usually have a cup of tea the next morning and followed by a coffee after the gym. And apparently if your intake of calories is below 50, which usually it would be if you put in milk in tea or coffee, um, then you should be okay. So I think I'm all right by having those two things because you're still in that fasting state apparently, even if you have those 50 calories and it's liquid as well. I don't know if that makes any difference, but yeah, it's milk. So I'll have that and then usually eat again around half nine, 10 maybe. And then I'll eat, I'll eat again, normal meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner until six again in the evening. So you've got a window that you need to eat in and then a window where you don't. And it's apparently meant to give you, well, your body needs a rest from digesting because it's digesting all the time. Think about how much your body is digesting food and even hours after you've eaten, it's still digesting that food. And to have that break is apparently very good for you. So in the last few hours is really when it attacks your stubborn fat that actually you think, oh, I'll always be stuck with this, but it attacks that stubborn fat. So I think, uh, you know, if you are trying to lose weight, it's probably a good thing. Um, but as I say, I mean, I can't give advice on any of this. This is just how it's working for me. And if you do it consistently, I think you just feel so much better in yourself. I personally feel like I've got so much more energy, which you think kind of defeats the object, but I don't feel as lethargic anymore i find it quite easy to get up in the morning i mean it's always hard at half six but yeah it's, it's not too much of a struggle i have loads of energy when i go to the gym uh, which i do straight away i find that i can power through the gym yeah i just feel like it's really good for my body and yeah i just wanted to talk about it because i feel like it's positive thing I think a lot of people have negative connotations with it and I just wanted to kind of dispel that because it's actually a really good thing and gives your body a nice break so that you can refuel the next day you feel energized and just so much better not sluggish because that's the worst feeling um because over a, over the weekend we kind of took a break from that and we were just eating badly and I wasn't really fasting uh, I did on Saturday but I didn't the other days so I just felt like really not good about myself but since like since the weekend getting back to it just feels so much better already and it's like two days in but yeah I think if you are thinking about it or you've read about it give it a try and see how you feel uh, and let me know if you do it because a lot of people um so they do do that now so anyway just thought i'd have a quick chat and then i'll talk to you again at lunchtime I have soon got round to lunchtime let's turn hold on pause for a sec um so we're gonna have i think we're just gonna have some scrambled egg pretty much have eggs nearly every day don't we yeah. especially for lunch the cheap well and they're good for you well yeah they're good for you very filling i don't know i'm a bit addicted to them now I really enjoy them. Um, yes, I enjoy them. Scrambled, fried, boiled. Yeah, I don't like poached that much. Poached is hard. Controversial it, for a lot of people, but yeah, I don't really like poached. But what's the point? You know, it's, it's hard work. I just find them longer. really watery. Mm. Yeah. Vin vinegary. So we're going to have scrambled today. Um, with, I think, with a bit of salad on the side or something. Is that what we're having? I was gonna get some spinach because that would have been nice with spinach. Um, scrambled eggs and just a bit of salad uh, to keep us going until tonight. What are we having tonight, actually? Some salmon? Uh, we've got some chicken that needs eating. Yeah, but we've got that salmon that's out. Is it out? Yeah, I told you. Ooh, and you were like, we don't need to put everything in the freezer. Ooh, okay, that's, that's a bit mature of you, that. You can tell I'm the older one in the relationship. Don't do silly things like that. <laughs> How funny. Um, right, so. Uh, yeah, Tim's going to make that, as per. 
When I say it's what I ate in a week, it's actually just what Tim makes in a week. <laughs> Well, it's what you eat. It's what you make. Yeah, it's what I eat. Hey, you know, you enjoy making. If I had to make, I would make. Butter in my scrambled egg as well. Final result nice and healthy scrambled eggs. So mixed um, kind of lettuce seeds, I think there's some spinach, watercress, and then some tomatoes. So it's been a bit of a rushed afternoon, and we've just kind of, well, got something to eat quite quickly. We didn't really have a chance to vlog it, but it's nothing exciting. So we got these from Aldi, these like little potato-y thingy bombobs, a piece of salmon, and then some of the salad leaves that we had at lunchtime with a bit of feta and hoisin. So that is meal of Tuesday evening. Back into my lovely hoodie for Wednesday. It's actually lunchtime and I didn't film what I had for breakfast because I had the same as yesterday. How exciting. I just thought I'd show you what I'm having for lunch really quickly. Nothing exciting at all. So this is just some minestrone soup and I've just got a piece of bread with some butter on. So very delightful. I mean, not that, that much of a and then the culinary genius is lunch but you know nice and wholesome and tasty so i think the last thing i shared with you is my lunch from yesterday and basically i went home last night so i didn't go back to my parents so i didn't loud so i didn't vlog what i ate i had pasta anyway and then this morning for breakfast we didn't have any yogurt left so i just had a banana and now we're about to have lunch Tim's making some scrambled eggs as per, but we've ha actually just been to the m and in Manchester because we needed a few bits and bobs and we were kind of in the area. So we went to m and and I thought I'd show you what we got. They actually have opened, like they've got a whole new food section and it's so nice. Just feels like kind of organic -y, like farmer's market type thing and they've got a whole section which looks like it's going to be for refillable things so you can take like a bag there and fill it up i think that's what it was wasn't it yeah so we get rid of the plastic and you take your own containers and fill it up with whatever you need yeah um so that's going to be good when it opens we'll try and utilize that so obviously we've got some we've got a great big milk to try and prop you down so that you can see what we've got. So I'll talk you through what we've got. So tonight we're gonna have some pulled pork um, that we got from, ooh, this is a dodgy place, Aldi, Lidl. Um, so we've got some nice wraps to go with them. These are tortilla seeded wraps. So they're gonna go with it tonight. Coriander, just for fun. Um, we got some more espresso ground coffee because that's what we have and then we put it with milk. Some more Greek yogurt, some nice tomatoes, apricots, some coriander and chili noodles which I've not actually seen before so they look really nice and we're going to do them with this stir fry. I'm probably going to finish this vlog by tomorrow night so um, you perhaps can see that but we're, I think we're going to do them with meatballs. A little truffle oil because we're obsessed with truffle oil and it just makes salad so nice. House smoky tomato. I did not know you got that. Strawberries, 
some raspberries, avocado, which is always good with eggs, or bananas, some coleslaw to have tonight because we're gonna have pork with the tortillas, coleslaw, and salad. So yeah, that is what we bought. Tonight. So this is our lunch, a piece of granary toast, scrambled eggs with some chorizo, chorizo, and some tomatoes with some black pepper and definitely some salt involved. Oh, what's that? I don't want any of that on mine. Oh. Is this mine? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll try it. <laughs> Right, so it is Thursday evening, we're just having our meal. So we're having, as I mentioned before, pulled pork with some salad, some tomatoes, some traditional coleslaw, a bit of coriander, a bit of parmesan, and then this is the pulled pork wrap. And this is it in here, but it's so lovely. Really tasty pork. The pièce de résistance. Good morning everyone! It is the last day that I'm going to do of our uh, what I ate in a week video and I'm actually just on the way to the Ivy for a brunch with Steeler Cosmetics. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I eat when I go out if um, I've got like a brunch or lunch. Probably to be honest not dissimilar to what I've been eating at home so I'll just show you a quick clip of that and then we'll wrap it all up and that will be what I ate in a week. the what I ate in a week video. So at the Ivy we had, well we, I, um, had like, it's like a kind of rye bread almost, like a toasted toast slash rye bread um, with poached eggs and avocado and obviously I told you I was gonna have eggs. I feel like that's mandatory when you go for breakfast and it had pomegranates in it as well which I thought was really nice. It's a nice little addition. So yeah it was a lovely lovely brunch. Then I think the rest of the day I've just had a couple of dried apricots I'll probably have some snacks I usually have a piece of fruit or some nuts or dried apricots or something like that because we ate at like 10 so and then tonight we're gonna have our stir fry that I mentioned that I talked about yesterday but I hope you've enjoyed this video it was literally just food focused I've not vlogged at all this week I just wanted it to be about what we ate and kind of yeah it's our normal routine but this bearing in mind this is like Monday to Friday, healthy routine. We're trying to give up sweet stuff at the moment. So that is like why it's more healthy. Like I'd say at the weekends normally I would eat some sweet stuff, probably have maybe a takeaway. So you know, it's it's not all salads and soups and eggs. <laughs> um, it's probably been quite a boring video actually. But we are trying to be healthy and I just thought I'd share what we had on an average week. No fuss or I wasn't eating anything differently just for the camera, um, which I thought is like what I actually eat in a week. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you in the next video if you have. Bye.